It came from the third dimension. 3D News by We have watched. Unguided. We have helped them progress. And seen them accomplish wonders. Throughout the years, we have never interfered. Until now. Hello, hello, hello. This is Adolf, and I have with me Classic Jake. Howdy, folks. Or may I say, Eternal Jake. <laughs> You've lived many eons, am I correct? <laughs> I f- it feels that way sometimes. Watch over humanity's sake. Uh, whatever. Uh, I'm <laughs> de- if, if I was in charge of humanity, I should be fired because it's things are really in bad shape right now. Well, you haven't felt like doing anything until now. Uh, so, just in case you guys aren't, you're lost, we're talking about Marvel Studios Eternals. Not the Eternals, just Eternals. Mm-hmm. And their new t- uh, teaser trailer that they dropped. So, we've been waiting for this forever. <laughs> yeah, and I actually think the other sizzle reel was a, a uh, told us more and was better. Yeah, I, I really feel like, okay, it's pretty. I'm not going to knock the cinematography. It looks nice, but... Yeah, it looks uh, decent. Um, I just kept thinking, you know, I was like going, you know, Taika Waititi and his uh, cinematographer did a much better job capturing the Kirby magic uh, in Ragnarok. Uh, this didn't look. This didn't really look like Kirby per se. I mean, there were elements of it, but it just seemed muted, and this wasn't a whole lot there. So the Eternals movie, it got uh, delayed from November of last year to March of this year to November of this year. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, the. The old Skeeter Davis song, Into the World, which is even older than I am, was a interesting choice. It's a, a lot slower paced of a trailer than usual Marvel fare. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there's not a whole lot going on. And it's just like, okay, who are these people? I don't know. I mean, it's a teaser. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there really should be... I mean, these characters are so unknown. They really should be putting names on the and introducing them. This was a real missed opportunity. Uh, the sizzle reel uh, showed a lot. Was a lot more interesting. The footage of the Eternals. This trailer was really a letdown. I mean, I'm like, yeah, I'll go see it, but I don't feel all hyped up and pumped. If anything, this sort of dampens my enthusiasm a bit. And I think for me, at least. It gave me a lot of echoes of uh, infamous Marvel property. Um, <sighs> uh, the humans. The Inhumans, yeah. Yeah, this, uh, it looks like a lot of the stuff they did, uh, looks like they've swapped out some of the Inhumans' backstory with the Eternals. So it just kind of, it's like, I just have that vibe. It's like, oh, okay, it's going to be meta. Oh, it doesn't look anything like the TV show in in humans, thank God. Yeah, I just I kind of get that same vibe from what I got from that to this. So maybe it's just me. Um, so we really have no understanding what the hell is going on, except that okay, we kind of get that they visited Earth uh, when it was ancient days, and we don't have any kind of time frame. And the the trailer which I teased said, you know. We are. We've always watched humanity, but now we're gonna come and uh, help it. And I was like, okay, that would have been helpful during the Infinity War when half the universe is in play. But okay, you yeah, might help them now, sure. Okay, whatever. I mean, having the uh, eternal group of uh, be- beings that can't really die would have been really helpful against Thanos. Yeah, especially the speedster. 
Yeah. I mean, this is kind of like, this is under, this trailer was very underwhelming. And you see them give uh, someone, um, you just see different clips, and it's, I don't understand the context or what's really going on. Like, there's one clip where they get, like, a knife to someone, and there's one clip of just them hanging out, and then, it, it, you know, it just is random clips it's of... just trying to show that uh, they've been around forever, different time periods, and relationships between them change. But since nobody knows who these characters are, I mean, this is not like, you know, oh, this is Iron Man, this is Thor. These characters haven't been introduced yet. So it would be nice if they we got an introduction to who they are. Yeah. To follow that. Uh, I mean, I can follow it uh, because I've read the Kirby comics and I've read the Neil Gaiman comics. <coughs> Even though this looks like it's more of the newer um version of the Eternals, which I haven't read, but I've uh, glanced at them. Uh, so the Eternals um, are basically a, a ancient, like thousands of year old race, and there's the Eternals and the Deviants, am I correct? Mm-hmm. They were created by the Celestials. Looks like they're changing uh, it up a bit um, with what their purpose is. It looks like they created the Deviants and the Eternals. Looks like the Celestials created the Eternals and the Deviants at different times, or the Eternals created the Deviants. I'm not sure exactly. And one Deviant that you may have heard of is Thanos. Mm-hmm, but I don't think he's a Deviant in the MCU. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works out. Um... We aren't going to know how that plays out. And we also don't know if them deciding to interfere has anything to do with uh, the blip, a.k.a. the snapshot. Because that would be interesting if they would, oh, yeah, half the universe is gone, let's uh, help out right now uh, in this time frame. Um, now, how do they know what's going on? Are they, like, are they just, like, I understand there's a character called the Watcher in Marvel, but are they, like, do they have cameras everywhere? Do they, like, just, how do they know who these people are to comment on Iron Man and, you know, Captain America? Uh, I don't know, but maybe they have television. Yeah, yeah. I just kind of feel like it felt a little bit more personable than um, just seen on TV, but, and... Yeah, know. I mean, in Sprite, uh... Well, in the comics, Sprite is kind of mischievous and is is kind of a Loki-like character. Named after the Coca-Cola soda. Lemon lime. Delicious. <laughs> Could be. Um, it looks okay. It really, the movie, um, just, it's interesting. It's like, okay, it's that. Um, I kind of feel like Shang-Chi did a lot better job of... Okay, I'm interested. I want yeah, this. This is a big uh, risk, and this uh, they missed the opportunity. Instead of showing us the Ishtar Gate and their neat little uh, spaceship, uh, spaceship brick uh, that looks like the easiest thing to build out of Legos ever, um, that they would have been better suited introducing us to these characters. I think this would have been okay to see in maybe November of 2019, <laughs> not in May of 2021, where, you know, okay, we don't, this might have been a fun, a fun thing to add to other movies and to be way back then, not now. Now we need more, and it's, it's supposed to come out this November, so... For being just a teaser, it feels like you got to give me more. It's it's coming out in a couple months, and that's all yeah, we get. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, they would have been better. Heck, I would have even gone as far as to made a short film with the Eternals, and you, I mean, just you could have them just sitting around a table talking to each other, and you get their name, you know, underneath them, and you know, a little data. I mean, I think that would go a long ways. Um, because, I mean, this, I mean, people jumped at Guardians, were intrigued by Guardians of the Galaxy because the trailer was so strong and interesting. Uh, this trailer 
is not that. I I don't I think this is just going to land with a thud. I don't think this is going to fire up people. Yeah, like I, the sizzle, like the sizzle reel did. Yeah, I kind of feel like people are going to forget. Oh yeah, the Eternals got the treaser trainer. <laughs> you know. Yeah, <laughs> this is not um, a strong trailer at all, especially for Marvel. Um, it really feels like. They even have good teasers, and this is not good. This is mediocre at best and completely forgettable, and it's just, okay, yeah. um, you know, you get to know about some things going on, but we don't really get to know them. Mm-hmm. The dinner scene was the best part of the trailer, where they're all sitting around talking, to, and Sprite brings up uh, Iron Man and uh, Captain America, and then Icarus is, uh, oh, I can lead, the, and they all start laughing. Yeah, um, I mean, some narration would have helped or something. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, real narration. I mean, we get Selma Hayek, but it's like, she could have said who she was. I mean, they they desperately need to tell people who these characters are. Yeah. All right, so that's going to be it for our, our quick discussion on the teaser trailer for The Eternals. Hopefully we get more... And more interesting actual official trailer soon, um, but hopefully it's it's maybe when Shang Chi comes out, we'll, they'll have it connected, and we'll forget about this teaser. We'll probably have something for Black Widow, hopefully. Yeah. All right. I guess that's it for us. Bye. Bye. Before this podcast wraps up, I want to thank my patrons. Thank you, Kano 3D. Mr. Bengal 5, and Kevin Winter for your financial support on Patreon.com. So that's going to be it for this podcast. Thanks for listening. You can find 3D or 2D on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, and more. Just look for 3D or 2D. Links are in the info box. If you want to send us listener mail, our email address is email 3D or 2D at gmail.com. Thank you for either listening or watching this podcast. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.